St Paul's Cathedral in Namirembe was filled to capacity as hundreds of mourners gathered to pray for the soul of Joyce Mpanga who died early this week. Among them was the Queen of Buganda, Nabagede Kaslivia Najinda, Prince David Wasajja among others, while the central government was represented by the State Minister for ICT, Joyce Sebugwao. The Church of Uganda Archbishop Stephen Samuel Kazimba Mgalu was the main celebrant of the day. In his sermon, Bishop Kazimba Mgalu eulogized the late Joyce Mpanga as an exemplary leader who always served God despite her political influence. Kazimba implored all leaders at different levels to emulate Mpanga's humility, honesty and faithfulness. The family members thanked all those who have stood with them during this trying moment. Queen of Buganda, Slivia Najinda also eulogized Mpanga as an outstanding leader, mother, wife and mentor, while the king in his message delivered by the Princess Kagere also praised the late Jay Simpanga for dedicating her life to serving the kingdom. The State Minister for Information, Joyce Sebukwao, delivered the government's condolence message where she disclosed that Joyce Simpanga will be accorded a state burial. President General Kabota Museveni, in line with the Article 99 of the 1995 Constitution of the Republic of Uganda as amended, which vests executive authority of Uganda in the President, has therefore directed that the late Joyce Mpanga be accorded an official burial. Mpanga, who passed away at the age of 90 last Saturday, was a celebrated educationist, women's rights activist and veteran politician, having served in the pre-independence legislative council. Mpanga will be laid to rest on Thursday 23rd, 2023 at their burial grounds in Maya along Kampala Massacre Road.